Hi, my respectful squad. I just wanted to stop in today and say hello. Like my new, they're not new, but they're new to you guys on the wall. Huge pictures. They look small, but they're not. These are some pretty nice sized pictures. I have Italy and France on the wall. Here we have Italy. And here we have France. Beautiful places, right? <laughs> they were in my closet. When we moved, I never... When we moved, I never got a chance to go to hang up everything. Because I kind of wanted to paint the frames white. Because you, as you notice, the mirrors on my wall, they're white. Well, I have some frames that's gray. Of course, my wall is gray, but I don't know. What do you think, guys? Comment below to let me think. Let me know what you think, my respectful squad. And while we're talking, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that notification bell. But my squad and everyone else that's watching, please hit that like. Go ahead and hit the like. It's not going to harm anyone to hit the like. Oh, it's not. Go ahead and hit the like, guys. But I wanted to just stop through, say hello. Yeah, I'm liking the pictures back there. So now I can literally sit on my bed and talk to you guys. Yes, I can literally sit on the bed and talk to you guys. I, I got my desk to talk to you guys. I have that area, and I also have my desk area. So you'll catch me in different spots and around the house, you know. Around the house talking to so today what did I do? Hmm, not very much so far. I wanted to run to the store and do a little grocery haul for you guys. Hmm. I don't know why I wait so late to go to the grocery store though. To pick up a few things. Mm -hmm. Well I do know tomorrow I'll be doing uh a video because me and my Boo going out to eat, so we'll be going out for breakfast tomorrow or lunch. I think it's lunch, and we're going out for lunch tomorrow. So I will record that, and I'll see do he want to get in the video, if he do or not. I'll let you guys know. You'll see in the video, actually. So, even if you don't get in the video, I can have him say hello. To you guys, I can't speak to my respectful squad. We ain't like that. No, we not. But as you guys know, he's an older guy. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you don't see my shoulders move. I know he's respectful. Mm, 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 mm. He's an older guy. Let me set this straight. I'm, I'm steady moving, and as I move, see when I do it like this, it actually sits straight. Because it's on my um, ring light, it's on the smaller ring light, the ring light about this big. I'm looking at the light. I'm trying to measure it. It's about this wide, my ring light. And it, the tripod is also good. Four feet? I'm thinking it's four feet. As well as my big one, my big ring light. As well as that one over there, the big one. So I'm thinking this is about four feet. I don't know if I ever showed you guys the big one. Let me spin it around and show you guys. There it is. That's the big one. And guys, I'm using the small one, so. My window is up. I don't have any lights on. I don't have the small light on because I have the brightness for my window. And as you know, my window, my blinds white, my curtains white, and they're sheer. So I get a lot of outside natural lighting. So, but I do need the ring lights definitely at night when I want to pop it on. Be like, okay, guys, hello, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I need to leave that dance alone. <laughs> Good, I keep doing it. I need to do that leave that dance alone. 
I don't know. I guess I could take you guys grocery shopping with me, can I? Yeah, if I decide to go, guys, I'll bring you guys along. Yeah, we do grocery shopping, too. Whatever. Whatever you like. Whatever you want. I will give it to you. Whatever you need me to. Whatever you like. Whatever you want. Oh, that's something of mine. That's mine. Don't try to steal. Don't try to steal my song. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm forever singing. I don't know why. I know I love children books, sing along children books. I do know I love those. Yes, guys, I'm going to have to just get my book and sing it to you guys because I never sung my book to you guys. You know, I just really started the channel, but I'm going to sing the whole book to you to let you know what that book's about because I know some of you may have children, you know, that you want to get the book for because I do have some. Even though it's no longer for sale online or in the Barnes and Nobles and Amazon and all these bookstores, eBay and all that, it's no longer, well, I haven't checked eBay, but... Uh, is no longer for sale anymore. Did I ever do the story time on my book? I don't even know. Guys, I'm going to give you guys a story time on my book. While we just sitting here doing nothing. Yes. As you know, I'm an author. Author Margaret Marshall. And uh, I written a children's book. Well, I written 32 children's books. But only one I published through this publishing company. That was titled uh, Sing Along With Me, A through Z in Letter Sounds. And the publishing company was Tate Publishing. If you look them up, you'll see that they no longer exist and all the reviews about them. And they, but they may try to sneak out another uh, publishing company. So you got to watch out for these prepaid publishing companies. They're no good. No good. From what I'm hearing. Do you know my book sold millions? Sing Along With Me was sold number one on Amazon. I looked it up on Amazon Worldwide Sale, and it sold number one at least two to three. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's three. I'm going to have to get the papers and show you the graph that shows how things sell. And um, I didn't receive no money from those sales, guys. None. None. They they went to court for embezzlement, laundering, laundering money, for it all. For it all. Through their workers was being sued by their workers, working past hours and not getting paid, and overtime and not getting paid. So it's a lot with that publishing company. I lost a lot with that publishing company. They was the uh, uh, attorney general in because they from. Oklahoma. Attorney General from Oklahoma, he was uh, suing them for us. And they mansions, house, whatever they were living in, all of those got sold in auction. But I, I, if I'm not mistaken, they, they didn't receive any jail time. Ask me why, I couldn't tell you. I guess because they took all their stuff and sold it. But when they took it and sold it, they were probably paying, uh, they even owed a Xerox one point, almost $2 million. And so what you think about us? Who you think going to get the money first? The big corporation. Xerox probably got whatever they sold of theirs. They one point some million dollar home. Xerox probably got whatever they auctioned off and they furniture. Xerox probably got it. And then some other company was saying that they owed it them. So we were just little people compared to those companies, they would say. And it was thousands of us that they cheated out of our royalties. Yes, guys, it was It was heartbreaking. That was something I never wanted to discuss, but I know it's part of my life, and you guys are part of my life now, so I haven't really even just, <laughs> took me a long time to sit down with my own kids and discuss it. 
we put a lot of money into my books getting published, you know. And to be in my book was such a good book, and to be treated the way I was treated, and it was a, and they were a, they were a Christian-based publishing company, Christian using God and Jesus in vain. You know what I'm saying? It was ridiculous. It was so like. It's, it hurts to even think about it. It hurts me to even think about it. It hurts to even think about it. I mean, I'm grateful that I do have books here for sale. I have, I think, like two or three boxes of books still because I donated half of the books that I did have of mine. I donated 1500 dollars worth of books to a Ronald McDonald house and the children hospital only needed they told me the amount of books they needed. Um I think they needed Probably a good four to five hundred dollars worth of books they needed, cause I gave it to the children's for Christmas, so I did donate some books too as well. And I gave away a few when I was promoting my book during the time it came out. That book was booming, y'all. It had made it to Walmart website, and Walmart is the hardest place they say to put any product in, cause Walmart don't take you if you're not selling. They don't accept you if you're not selling. And once I noticed it landed on Walmart.com, and I didn't even know it was on Walmart.com. They didn't even contact me, didn't let me know anything. No, I didn't have an agent once I should have. They didn't even contact me and let me know that my book had made it to Walmart.com. And going to the .com, it can end, it can eventually end up in the store. That was so hurtful, y'all. Y'all. People don't know. No one knows. Y'all guys don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you now, but it's a lot behind this face, this person. I'm an author, Arthur Margaret Marshall. And I don't know why I don't use the title, but I'm Arthur Margaret Marshall. I don't forget that who I am. I know who I am. But it's a hurtful thing to think about, you know, how I was... Robbed of all the money, all that money. It's so hurtful, guys. It's where I should have been in my life right now, but I'm not because of them stealing money, taking care of their families, buying their children homes and cars and stuff, and things that I could have been doing for me and my kids and my grandkids, but I wasn't able to do. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. So when that happened, it was like... My heart just dropped when I found out the real truth of behind why we wasn't receiving royalty checks. And I found that out online by other authors putting it up online. I found out that out online. It's still hard to talk about right now. It's, it's still hard to talk about. Mm. I'm not going to cry. Cause I came on here with a great spirit, you know. Yep, yeah, seeing that, and I'm not gonna let no one, what someone did, control my happiness and my joy. No, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that today. No, we're not. No. But yes, guys, I was robbed of my royalties. What they were doing for their kids and their family. 
I could have been doing for me and my kids, you know. They could have had the cars of their dreams. I could have had the car of my dream. Could have had our home by now, you know. But now it's like another outlet. I'm trying YouTube, you know. I know I had to do something, you know, to put myself back out there. My book got a page. It It is on a page. Um, you actually can look. I got two books up right at, actually on this page. You actually can look up um, Who's Chasing Who. That book will pop up. And then click on the page. It's a teddy bear. Click on the channel and you'll see Sing Along With Me by Margaret Marshall. <laughs> and A through Z and Ladder Sound, Sing Along With Me. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you the book. I could just read the book to you and show you the book, but that'd be, I'll do that another time. I can do that enough. <clears throat> mm, my throat just got dry for no reason. <clears throat> Let me get some water. <clears throat> I keep a 24 case bottle of water in my room. Because if I leave it in the kitchen, it'll get drunk up just like the rest of the water. But no, I put my water, I buy it myself, and I put it in in my room a 24 case of water so you may hear talking in the background this is the true the real thing behind recording you can't get the house quiet all the time when you want it so you'll hear some talking probably in the background you may hear it or you may not because my door is closed And I'm trying to drink more of that too. Yes, definitely. I'm trying to drink more water. Guys, I don't I don't got so big over the winter. I don't gain so much weight. I was not this big when I first started. This chin wasn't messing with me when I first started. <laughs> now it's all in pictures. Just look at it. Just all in pictures. But uh yes. I'm very, I'm very intelligent. I'm very artistic when it comes down to creating things and writing books. And I have a poetry book. That's why I read you the poetry. It's from my book, Journey of Thoughts. Is it's a lot been going on in my life, guys. It's a lot. It's upsetting, but. I found YouTube as an outlet. I can come and talk to you guys and read your comments. And But I know I don't have very many subscribers right now, but I'm working on that. And I want you guys to share the videos so that we can bring in more respectful squad members. You know, and I want you guys to share it don't forget i keep forgetting to tell you guys to share the video share it with your social media your family and friends share the video and don't forget to hit the like go ahead and share it but yes i'm an author author margaret marshall i'm a writer and i've written 32 books but it's only two that's out here right now who's chasing who look up who's chasing who and my book will pop up and then you can click on the teddy bear. I'm trying to remember what's the name of the channel. I think it's story time. Something I do with story time. And uh, so I told you I have so many projects. I It's hard to keep up with them. But once you look up who's chasing who, it should pop up. And then you can hit on the teddy bear, the channel, and see the book I'm speaking of. That was published. It was. I felt so. It was like my world was changing. My life was changing because the book was everywhere. Every 
online bookstore you can name, my book was there. Every bookstore you can name. They were sold out. Then they get them back again. And I look up again a couple days. They got one left. They were sold out. <laughs> they sold Amazon. And then there's this one. Once it made it to this one. I'm not. I'm not. Once it made it to this one website that they, they give books to Walmart. It's this one website that give books to Walmart. Once it made it there, and I seen it on there. I knew it was for the going Walmart. It was my book would have been in Walmart because Walmart only buys books, but it's from this one publishing company. And when it made it there, I knew I did it. I know I was. I know I was going somewhere. I know they was. It was gonna be successful. I knew it was gonna be high. Hi, baby. I don't want him to see me crying. I knew it was, it was going to be successful. I knew it was, I knew I was going somewhere. I knew this was my, this is what I was really supposed to be doing. I started writing books at 12. <laughs> and I knew once it made it to that one site, I knew that was it. I was there. My feet was in that success door. I knew it was in that success door. Until I started reading all this stuff. Online. About the publishing company. I started buying this stuff. Online about them. And it was like... It was like my heart was snatched from my chest. Nobody really knows how I really go. Nobody really knows how I really felt. And when I looked at uh, things was affecting me, I seen the uh, new edition story. Me and my daughter was watching, I couldn't do them bus I car. When they was mistreating them, taking their money and stealing their money, that was me. I know exactly what they felt. I know exactly what they felt like. It's because you're working hard. You work so hard and you do something and you know it's good and you know you're going to be successful from it. And then somebody just snatch it and take it away. And it's, and you just out there working hard for no reason. I cried and cried. And when I was watching New Edition, I seen how they was taking things from them. I couldn't do nothing but cry. I couldn't even hold it in no longer about my books. I just bust out and say, this is exactly how I feel. This is exactly what was happening to me. And I'm not a kid. I'm a grown woman.
And it was happening to me. I'm not even a kid. I'm a grown woman. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to get emotional. I was afraid that was going to happen. That's why I never really just touched down on it. And I figured this, this was an outlet for me, YouTube. Because I know I'm supposed to be successful right now. I know I'm supposed to be stable right now. I know I'm supposed to be setting up in my home, my office in my home, creating my ideas that I have and putting them out here. I know all that's supposed to be going on in my life right now. I have dreams and plans and that happened it's just stopped everything just stopped it was like what just happened what just happened I talked to these people they were nice they were kind I can't blame the workers because they were nice and kind and and then find out that, and found out that they was overworked, worked overtime, and wasn't getting paid. They were doing things that they wasn't in they, um, comp, their application. They was working hard, and you just have to look up tapepublishing.com scams, and it's it, it was ridiculous. It's like my heart just stopped, guys. It was, I'm watching the audition and I just broke down. And I was re looking, watching that story, their movie on Lifetime. I just broke down. I, I couldn't hold it no longer. I couldn't. It was, it was all in me, like this. And when I was watching their life story, it just, I just burst out in tears. It just seemed like a lot of weight was lifted up off me, you know, after that cry. It, it, it just seemed like a lot of weight was lifted and I felt it better in the heart and my heart felt lighter. I felt better and I feel a little better now. Just letting, just from that outburst I just had, I don't know, maybe I need to cry to release what I'm holding in. It's a lot going on in my life. It's a lot I've been going on in my life. What in the last... Two years is a lot. <laughs> a lot been going on in my life. I've been asking God to make me keep me strong to be able to deal with deal with a lot that's been going on in my life and he has. He's been holding me up, my head up and getting me up every day. every day and then last year I lost someone very important in my life I don't even want to speak on it on my YouTube channel because her son watches my channel faithfully I don't even want to talk about it and I'm not I'm not This is so much just been happening back to back. Where are you going? I try to be strong. And it's hard. It's hard to keep your head up and be strong. It's very hard.
And I don't like my grandkids seeing me crying. And I really don't. My kids know it's I'm holding it on a lot, but I don't want my grandkids to see me crying because they'll cry. That's why I normally lock my door when I do videos. But God's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been holding me up. He's been lifting me up every day. Waking me up. I'm blessed. Very blessed. So sorry. This isn't didn't supposed to be an emotional video, God. I got on here happy. So much been so much been on my chest. It's it's kind of like I feel a little better. And I have you guys as an outlet to talk to. Which I have grown kids to talk to as well. But I also have you as an outlet to talk to. So. Would you get out of my waters? Just because I'm emotional right now. She's in here. This girl is literally in here stealing my waters. <laughs> Would you put my waters down? My waters in my room for a reason. Keep it away from y'all. Yes, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not what this video is supposed to have been about. It's not what it's supposed to have been about. But yes, that's what happened with my books. My success. I'm supposed to be a successful author. I know a lot of people write books and they don't be successful behind it, but my books wasn't one of those books that shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been success, successful behind. Because I looked up the grid. It just happened to, it's like God put that grid in front of my face. I didn't even know how I even got on that site through Amazon. I don't even know how I got there. I don't even know how I got there. And all of a sudden, it, it was on my... I was looking up something. How many... I just put in Google. How many books have Sing Along With Me sold worldwide? And I didn't... It didn't show anything. It, and and I just seen something said Amazon counts. So something had to do with Amazon. And I hit on it. And guys, it was like... It was a good thing that I found it because it was letting me know how my book was doing. And then it was a sad, emotional thing all at the same time. All at the same time. But, guys, it was a very emotional story time. And I didn't want to do that to you guys. But this is me. I have to get this out. This is me, so... This is an outlet for me. Yes, it's an outlet for me. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to hit that like. 
subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're new to the uh, channel. Margaret be respectful, my respectful squad. And I'll see you guys later. Peace with a heart and a kiss.